Good morning, my darlings. Welcome to a new vlog, a new vlog on a Monday. <laughs> this is um, not in my usual schedule. However, this week is going to be a little bit different. This week is kind of my warm up to Vlogmas, you could say. There is going to be a video every single day this week up until Friday. Because this week is Cyber Week, which is just madness, always absolute madness. Um, it feels like we've kind of had a cyber two weeks, doesn't it? Feels like a lot of brands started to do stuff last week. And yeah, I thought I would do a video every day this week, but there is a catch. From Friday, there will be no more videos, dun dun dun, until Vlogmas. So I'm gonna give myself a little bit of a break, a little bit of a breather. Last year and the year before that, I felt that it was cyber week then Vlogmas. <laughs> there was not even, a chance to breathe um, and this year the way that the dates fall it does allow me a little bit of a breather just a little one <laughs> because we don't take big breathers in this neck of the woods so ta-da <laughs> here's a Monday video I think <clears throat> I think during vlogmas by the way there probably won't be Monday videos that will be the one day throughout the month that I take off maybe <laughs> <laughs> things can always change but anyway we're gonna have daily vlogs this week which I'm really excited to bring you along to because I've got some very fun things happening this week before I go any further excuse my hair <laughs> please excuse my hair I had an epic fail um, I tried doing heatless waves last night while I slept and I woke up this morning and my hair was still damp I am leaving very shortly in ooh, 12 minutes <laughs> to go to the Newt today, which I'm so very excited about. I have never been to the Newt before, but I've heard the most incredible things about it. I have been to Babylon Storen in South Africa. That was the worst accent ever, South Africa. South Africa, <laughs> um, which is the sister hotel. And I, I've just got a strong feeling that I'm gonna love everything about the Newt. I think it's got a little bit of kind of time vibes about it. We're going on a kitchen garden tour, which I'm so excited about. Um, but it's a two and a half hour journey. So I think I'm gonna stick my um, silk sausage back in my hair to try to get a little bit better shape. We've got some curls that turned out okay, but the majority of my hair is straight. <laughs> not ideal, not ideal, but I thought I would come and say hello and explain the random Monday vlog and um, let's also unbox the Alex Monroe jewellery that I'm going to be wearing today because, do you know what, I just can't wait to brush my hair, I'm just going to brush it out, let's see what the damage is, maybe it's not even that bad but I think if I put something in it um, for while we travel down then hopefully the curls will sort themselves out. It is always such a gamble with um, it's always such a gamble with heatless curls. <sighs> Forrest Gump would be a fan because you never know what you're gonna get. <laughs> God. <sighs> I'm in a weird mood today. Anyway, um, so the trip today is with Alex Monroe, which is one of my all time favorite jewelry brands, as you will know. Oh my gosh, and the best bit. The theme, the style of Alex Monroe's latest jewellery collection is kitchen gardens. Can you Adam and Eve it? So I'm so excited to wear these pieces and discover more about the collection today. First of all, this, to a non-gardener, you may be like, what is it? I don't know what that shape is. To me, that's a rainbow chard leaf. <laughs> I instantly recognise that as a, oh, I think I want to put it on my middle finger, or oh, here, here, here. I instantly recognise that as a rainbow charred leaf. Um, do you remember the leaves? We've obviously got the very colourful rainbow charred down in our kitchen garden. Um, and the leaves, I think I said in a recent vlog that they look prehistoric or they look Jurassic because they're just so huge. Um, and just the most fabulous shape and texture. I should have fake tanned my hands for, for jewellery. If you love chunky jewellery, then... I love it, that's so gorgeous. What do we have here? Oh. <laughs> oh my goodness, guys. It is a garlic and onion and shallot bracelet. I think if you'd have told anyone years ago that I'd be wearing um, golden garlics around my, my wrists, I'd have thought you'd have lost the plot. But now I just, <laughs> I truly can't think of anything that I adore anymore in this world apart from Dexter and Dickens. I love the gold that Alex Monroe use as well. It's 
just the most beautiful ethically sourced fair mind gold it's got a really beautiful kind of antique yellow to it stunning i am rushing a tiny bit sorry but you will oh my god an artichoke and a radish necklace set how bloody fabulous i'm sorry for the language but that is just oh my goodness me an artichoke on a necklace and a radish did i get charlie radish ear cuff not ear cuffs um no i got him watering can cufflinks from Alex Monroe last year as one of his stocking fillers. This is just too much. This is truly wonderful. I'm so excited for today. I don't know if by the time this video goes live, our Black Friday blog post will be live, but if it is, it'll be linked at the top of the description box. But if not, remember, we do now have a discount. I need to make the chain lengths a bit different here. <laughs> but there we go, an artichoke and a radish. How fabulous. We do have the discount directory on the blog now, which is just the best place to go for discounts from all my favourite... Oh. Radish earrings. <laughs> Radish earrings! Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This is just too much. People would just look at you and think that you've got like some really fun, kind of striking, artistic, gold, fabulous earrings. And then they'd look cl closer and they'd be like, hang on. Are they radishes? What a talking point. What a gift. What a gift for um, anyone, <laughs> to be honest, this Black Friday, this Christmas. But yes, do check out the discount directory on the blog because there will be a, a manicurist discount um, on there. There's literally all the discount codes from how nice do they look from all the brands that I work with will be on that blog post, even the tissue paper. It's got little bees, a little wildflower. I could not love this jewelry collection any more than I do. So before I go, two and a half hour car journey, starting in five minutes. I need to get downstairs. I need to pack my bag. I need to make a coffee for the road. I need to download The Crown because I plan on watching, oops, turn off airplane mode. I plan on, ooh, we need to charge this. <laughs> Luckily I have got my charger with me, so we're all good. Oh, it's the wrong charger. I have obviously started watching The Crown because I'm a huge fan, but I've not had time to watch beyond episode three. So, hang on, that's series four. What are you doing? I don't want series four. Go away, stop downloading. Absolutely not. Obviously I'm on season five, mate. Right, episode three, episode four. Downloading, great. Speaking of downloading your favorite programs on Netflix and Black Friday deals, my besties at Surfshark have got an even better deal now for November and I believe December for their Black Friday sale. So, Surfshark, the VPN that everybody needs in their lives, enables you to access the entire world of Netflix. For some reason, you do not have access to the crown or any other Netflix series in the country that you live in, or you've heard a friend that lives in America or Australia or Singapore or somewhere else in the world talking about a TV program and you don't have access to that TV program on your country's Netflix, Surfshark has got your back. You can use Surfshark to make your device think that it's in another country um, and then you can, and then you'll have access to that country's Netflix, that country's everything basically because your device will think that it is in a different country you can scroll through hundreds of different countries so if you don't have the crown go on your surfshark it takes a matter of seconds literally like three or four clicks and put your device in the uk or in the us and then you will have access to the crown and any other absolute favorites but now the deal is absolutely amazing that Surfshark have so kindly shared with you guys. It is 85% off and three months extra for free using the code at the top of the description box. Surfshark is also the first premium VPN to enable you to choose from over a hundred different countries, which is just absolutely astronomical. There are so, so many ways that I love to use Surfshark, as well as it being an extra layer of security. If and when we travel, I love to plug in my Surfshark because it just adds an extra layer security password protection um, and cookie protection when you are on public wi-fi's there are really so many different ways you can use it it really is an absolute game changer so darlings do check it out it would be also a great christmas gift as well um, i really need to get my 
rollers in my hair, my goodness, because I'm pretty sure I just heard a taxi arrive, so let's do it. Um, right, centre parting, let's go, let's go, let's go. Hopefully this GHD curly ever, curly ever after spray might work. Like a character from the crown. Okay, time to get down to the newt. And just like that, we have made it to the newt. I'm going to go and join the guys for a kitchen garden tour, but I couldn't resist a sneak peek into this iconic walled orchard so many different types of apples and pears and i'm sure many other things growing in all different ways some with support some left as trees we've got some crab apples growing up the wall here gosh they make mine look so mini these are so juicy wow delicious it's a little bit overcast now but i cannot wait to explore so this is the Newt's kitchen garden. I love how they've used some really old, old bits of wood to create all the different borders and barriers here. They've got their raspberries growing up. They've done the same as we've done at our house with the rosemary growing out of the vintage, the antique um, rhubarb forces. So many nasturtiums to help keep the bugs away. Gosh, I can really smell them. A giant wheelbarrow of celeriac straight from the ground. I don't think I've ever seen one straight from the ground before. They are ginormous. That's, is it a, is it a tromboncini? Everything, everything is very aesthetic. We've got the sticks, are they birch sticks maybe? With the plant pots on to protect the... Yeah, I think there was That's there a good? Net. So we drove through some beautiful blue skies. It's got a little bit overcast now but this is the beautiful kitchen garden. I love how they've got the pools of water with the oak uh, raised beds kind of style to create little ponds in amongst the garden for the birds and the wildlife and all of these different very organized beds. This is the brassica area. We've got some cabbages. We've got some incredible tromboncini growing over there. Kales, strawberries all in their cold frame. I always find it very interesting to see what's growing at different times of year because to be honest there is not much growing in my garden at the moment here we have got celeriacs which i've never seen growing in the ground before that's something that i've not tried to grow at home gosh that entire bed over there is celeriacs as well they are loving the celeriacs here i'm sure we'll see that on the menu later the brassica bed i'm sure this will have been covered in netting earlier in the year lots of lots of growth here some asian greens nasturtiums as well keeping the bugs away i love how they've used as much natural material as possible to create the structure here i think this might be hazel hurdle to create the framework for these plants down here and i'm not sure if you can see up there but that is the main house hopefully we'll have time to sneak up there a little bit later on now this may not look that exciting at the moment but the way that they have created this framework for the plants it looks like a kind of vine i wonder if it's grape or could even be a kind of berry maybe a gooseberry or something this will look so amazing when these are all in bloom it's a very sleepy time of year for the gardens but you can really see the structure that they're starting to build here we are heading up to the garden cafe for lunch it is nestled amidst a forest of rosemary look at this I don't think I have ever seen quite so much rosemary growing all in one place. Wow. courtyard and we're about to have a little tour of their cider making facilities. I did try the new apple juice at the Chelsea Flower Show. Um, so it looks like this is where where it was brewed, where it was juiced. My goodness, I can't believe what I'm seeing. It is a little escalator coming out of the ground with all the different apples coming up. Oh, it's like a stream of apples. I'll be like, wow. Always find 
find your way to higher ground May you always keep your head held up high Pretty little thing You're a diamond in the rough Shining from within I can tell that you're tough so we have just had a cider tasting and for someone who previously would have said that I'm not a huge fan of cider, having tried these, they have officially changed my mind. Fun fact, back in back in the day, cider with an I was for the farm workers and cider with a Y is for the gentry. <laughs> the posh cider spelt with a Y. We have just tried the most delicious ciders that are almost like wines and champagne, so light and delicious. So we've headed straight to the farm shop and I'm going to stock up. Oh, so many lovely things. This is like the South Cotswolds version of the Dalesford farm shop. My goodness, so many lovely things, many of which are produced here on the Newt Estate. I am quite taken by surprise as to what a production is going on here. I don't know why, but I thought it was just a hotel. It is so much more. They have got a proper bakery where they're baking everything from scratch. Behind me is where we've just been doing the cider tasting and they are producing their own very fine ciders with a Y here at the Newt. Um, lots of local honeys. So much produce that is made here. I just had no idea. Goodness, my mum used to read me this book before bed at Christmas time. It's a good job that Charlie is not here because I think that he would have absolutely everything from this shop. My goodness, we've got a couple of these books at home, the Charles Dickens. So we're doing a little bit of exploring. This is one of the greenhouse buildings which they turned into a cafe, I believe. They've got a very jazzy coffee machine over there. Beautiful water features. Teal colour is quite sensational, isn't it? Wow. Spot the newt. Wow. Oh my goodness. There are so many hidden archways and walled gardens to explore. There's another little spot down here. We found the gardener's cottage, this sweet little thatched cottage in the middle of a walled garden. Look at this. Oh gosh, their roses are still going. You can tell we haven't had a frost yet, can't you? Look at the vines and the pergola. Well, that was just the loveliest, only a few hours at the Newt. It was absolute, it's absolutely gorgeous there. I have a sneaky feeling that Charlie and I might be heading back there in December. I've just, just got a sneaky feeling it might be one of my advent calendar gifts. If you've been around and watched this channel for a couple of years, you might remember that sometimes Charlie does the most incredible advent calendar for me for my birthday. Um, and yes. Judging from a few things that he said, I think we might be heading back there, which would be amazing because today we didn't actually get to explore the hotel. I could see it from afar um, because the kitchen gardens and the cider area and the gift shops are quite separate. I believe it's a membership for local people um, and you can get membership to explore the gardens and have access to the shops and the cafe. But there is still so much to explore. They really opened my eyes to the different kinds of cider that you can actually make here in the UK. They were obviously talking about how they were talking about how they are hoping to create a very fine cider with no sulfates, um, which is <laughs> better for your hangover or lack thereof. But honestly, I was so blown away by the taste of these ciders. They honestly were more like a lovely light fine wine than a cider because I personally am not, not a cider kind of girl, but they were delicious. Um, the lunch was scrumptious, the kitchen gardens were absolutely gorgeous and a perfect place to discover more about Alex's, Alex Munro's latest collection. So I wore my gorgeous radish necklace. Oh no, sorry, this is a turnip. I wore my lovely turnip necklace, my onion bracelets, but I think my favourite has to be the radish earrings. I think these are 
These are officially my new favourite earrings. I wore my Serafina dress and Chloe boots. It was a long drive, but I managed to get a lot of work done in the car there and back, got lots of editing done, um, and just arrived back home to a lovely bowl of pasta from Charlie. We did have a few deliveries today. A few of these are for brands that I'm working with over Cyber Week. So we have got some lovely top-ups from Elizabeth Arden. As I mentioned, there'll be a blog post link down below with all of my various discount codes. I'm very, very grateful. They've been so generous to top me up on some of my favorite capsules. These are very much part of my everyday morning skincare routine. Every single morning, I'll put on a vitamin C... Ooh, that's the ceramide capsules. Ah, oh, perfect. Every evening I put on a ceramide capsule about 10 minutes after applying my Skin and Me daily doser. In the mornings I put on a hyaluronic acid capsule followed by vitamin C and I did put in a specific request for this. This is the Elizabeth Arden Advanced Ceramide Night Cream and this is an absolute favourite of mine. I completely polished off my last one with, and so I'm very grateful to have a new one. It works very, very well combined with the ceramide capsules if you are using Skin and Me. It's very, very reparative. Uh, of course, the Essentials 8-hour cream. And then I'm a huge fan of the Elizabeth Arden lip balms. They all have the SPF 15 and 20 in them. I really need a good lip balm always on hand at this time of year. And they have so kindly topped me up on my favourite everyday lipstick as well. I did notice a few comments in the last few vlogs asking what lipstick I'm wearing. It is pretty much always this at this time of year. Let me just check what colour the one that I'm wearing every day is. It's this one here. And it is the shade Notably Nude. Number 27, Notably Nude. This is my everyday lipstick at the moment. I wouldn't say it looks this bright a pink when it's... Sorry, it's not focusing. I wouldn't say it looks that, that much of a bright pink when it's on my lips, but in the bullet, it looks very bright and it is so gorgeously balmy. So if you do have quite dry lips at this time of year, and mine really are, then that is gorgeous. So I think we have got some different shades here. This one is Be Bear. That looks like the perfect everyday nude. A little bit more autumnal than my current one. Ooh, this one looks a little bit berryish. Rose Petal. Ooh, that is lovely. Although I think that is a little bit more of a shade for Lala. So I'll see if Lala would like that one. I do love to share my beauty deliveries. And then I'd gone so long without using a primer as part of my morning makeup routine, but Charlie's sister Scarlett was reminding me of the importance of wearing a primer the other day. So I'm going to start using the Elizabeth Arden Hydrating Serum Primer again, because I remember loving that one. We've got some of my favourites here from Cordially, Shower Gel and face mist we have got some products here from grown alchemist i know that they smell amazing and speaking of smelling amazing a very very kind fragrance delivery from tom ford oh my gosh i love the size of this one that's going to be really great for our nashville trip santal blush is one that one of my friends wears and whenever she wears it i always ask her what she's wearing because it smells so heavenly i feel like that is a really lovely autumn winter deep rich ambery gorgeous fragrance and bois marocaine i don't believe i have tried before but i have a feeling this might be new because i know that the tom ford team are in morocco at the moment on the most incredible looking trip perhaps this is what they are celebrating so let's give this a smell sorry i'm gonna have to crouch down a little bit Ooh. oh my gosh that's actually not what I was expecting. That's a little bit more citrusy than I thought it would be. Oh, like ambery. I don't know, it doesn't say on it, but this reminds me of the kind of fragrance that you would wear when you've got a really gorgeous fluffy coat on. You're spending the afternoon, spending afternoons by an open fire. Very kind of like luxury winter vibes I'm getting from that one. At this time of year, a really thick lip balm is an essential. If anyone has got any tips on 
how you can stop your lips just being so dry other than a super rich lip balm please let me know because i do suffer a lot at this time of year have you got a toy my dexy have you got a toy oh you're looking so sweet today you're looking like a baby is that dexy's toy is that dexy's toy Daddy, I love my toy. Daddy, play with me. Okay, so it may only be 7.30, but I couldn't wait to get my pyjamas on. <laughs> I think we're going to have a super duper early night tonight. Um, I can't remember if I actually showed you these in the last video, but these are from Lily Silk. They remind me of a kind of Monet watercolour painting. I think they're really, really beautiful. And the loveliest silk. They also have an epic Black Friday sale. I think it's buy one, get one 20% off and Josie 12 for an extra 12% off. All the sales at the moment. I know it's very overwhelming, but I do feel it is my duty <laughs> to let you know about all the best ones. Um, yes, huge fan of silk pyjamas. And I also think tonight I'm going to treat myself to a hot water bottle. Oh, I need to freshen up the flowers. <laughs> They're looking... Do you know what? The anemones are lasting well. It's these... I don't actually know what they're called. Wow, you can even hear. They've gone super crispy. Oh, yes. Hot water bottle. And I think I will do... My... I think I'll do my eyes tonight. On my infrared... Red light therapy mask. And... I'm going to be starting a new book. A lot of people have told me about this, especially the girls that I do the wild swimming with. Sorry about the noisy kettle in the background, but I just want to quickly show you what I picked up from the Newts. Um, it's not really a souvenir shop, it's more of a kind of farm shop, gift shop. They had so many lovely things I could have got very carried away, but I chose, firstly, this absolutely gorgeous wrapping paper. I saw they had a few boxes wrapped in this um, at the shop and I thought it was so beautiful, especially this deep olive green color. I thought it was absolutely stunning. I couldn't resist picking up Twas the Night Before Christmas. Such, <clears throat> this brings back so many memories. I used to have this read to me by Lila every single Christmas. I would, I could definitely tell you the story off by heart. Don't even really need a book. Um, but I thought it'd be really lovely to have one of these in the house for any children that stay with us over the festive period. Let me know down below if you also... Oh my goodness. It's so noisy. <laughs> Let me know down below if you also remember this from your childhood and it's got such lovely old-fashioned illustrations. So beautiful. And then I truly can't believe how much I loved these ciders. I've said it a million times, but I'm not a cider drinker, but these are so light and almost like, if you imagine the lightest, loveliest apple juice you've ever experienced and combine that with a really fresh, crisp wine, that is how these taste. So I picked up a bottle of the fine cider, which apparently is very good with fish dishes. Not that I eat fish, but it was still delicious. And then the ice cider, both of which I believe you can get. I think the Newt do free delivery across the UK um, from their farm shop website, which I'm definitely going to be having a look at. They're releasing their apple juice next week. So hopefully by the time this video is live um, I'm definitely going to order a box full for Christmas and this one here is fantastic for with your cheese it's a very lovely light one for at the end of a meal a very small bottle and it was £34 so not the cheapest but this would also make the loveliest gift for a for a host or hostess if you're heading over to someone's house this Christmas and then lastly their calendar just had the loveliest kind of floral botanical um, designs on the months, on the different months. And I thought it was so lovely for us to have here in our kitchen. So that is my little haul from the Newt. I'm sure if I was a local, I would be there on a weekly basis, but what a treat to get to visit. Um, and I'm definitely going to be heading over to their website to see what other lovely produce I can order to the house.
What if the wind could spread your love? What if you... Another lovely delivery that arrived today in the most beautiful wrapping, the most wonderful presentation. This is from a company called Seasons Boutique. I believe they are stationery, um, gift wrap. I think this is their own gift wrap. Note cards, postcards, invitations. Um, so I thought I would open this up with you. And we also took delivery of a new bouquet of hydrangeas from Flowered. This is just the perfect colour this time of year. I love the green and the burgundy, or the green and the red. They should dry out really beautifully, um, so I have switched these into the vase in the entrance hall area. And hopefully, if they do dry out perfectly, we might even use them as Christmas tree decoration, so stay tuned. But yeah, let's have a little look inside these beautifully wrapped deliveries. Hope you enjoy the early season's greetings. They've even got the most beautiful wax seal on the envelope here. I wonder if we could make a personalized wax seal for this house. That would just be amazing. They almost look so beautiful that I wanna keep them as props and not open them, um, but <laughs> I will definitely be reusing this ribbon, that is so lovely. Pop it through my hair straighteners to smooth out the creases. I need to learn how to wrap without showing lots of sellotape this year, because it always looks so beautiful. Little box that says Seasons. Oh my goodness. Oh, look at this. That is so beautiful, it is the most gorgeous green and gold passport case. That could not be any more perfect for me. Oh my gosh, I have just got, well, in summer I got my new, my new passport. So perfect ahead of our US trip. My goodness, what a lovely gift idea. I wonder if they can personalize them as well. I wouldn't be surprised, I bet they can do. I think actually she's used double-sided sticky tape. That's such a good idea. Oh my gosh, that is so beautiful. These are the most gorgeous, elegant, tasteful Christmas cards. It's like a beautiful home fireplace with a Christmas wreath and little touches of gold. Can you see the gold just slightly shimmering? How elegant and gorgeous. I think these are the most tasteful Christmas cards I have ever seen. <laughs> How gorgeous is this? I think this is like a traveler's, a travel, um, here we go. Luxury leather travel journey, poised to accompany you on long awaited adventures, collect precious moments and encourage thoughtful contemplation. Both blank and ruled pages to encourage thoughts and scribbles, handcrafted in England using sustainably sourced British milled paper. There is something there's something very magical about an old-fashioned leather-bound notebook. So beautiful. What a lovely gift this would be for someone that is going on some exciting adventures next year or just loves the most beautiful quality stationery. How gorgeous. A really lovely delivery. Thank you very much to Seasons. Goodness me, this lighting is absolutely awful, but this bathroom is just not the brightest, so talking to you in the evenings is not the easiest. Um, we just had something a little bit freaky happen. I would say this is the first um, kind of supernatural thing that has happened since we've lived here and I don't know I just feel a little bit shaky now it's not even that bad it's actually not bad at all but um the tap in the downstairs bathroom just started running like not even just like a trickle like quite a considerable amount and neither Charlie nor I had touched it yeah that was just a little bit weird and you know when like both Charlie and I looked at each other and we both had a little bit of fear in our eyes. We were like, shit. <laughs> now I'm just really jumpy. Anyway, I'm gonna take my makeup off. Ah, oh, there is nothing better than taking your makeup off after a long day out of the house. I'm surprised I didn't do it sooner, um, but you're gonna get very bored of me saying this over the rest of this week, but 
I'm going to do another little cheeky plug because I've realised that today is the day that you're watching this will be Monday, which will be the first day of proper cyber week. So by the time this video goes live, there will be a mega blog post over on my blog um, and there will be links and edits to all the very best discount codes, some of which are site-wide, some of which will be just for my audience. So for example, um, Elizabeth Arden have launched Josie 30, which is 30% off site-wide, and that is just for my audience, at least for 48 hours, it's just for you guys. Uh, what else do we have? The amazing Spotlight um, electric, sorry, that's my disgusting face halo, electric toothbrushes. They come with the little travel pouches, which are so amazing. Um, it's a brand that I really love, founded by two female dentists, two sisters, and all their products are just so beautifully made, as, as beautiful as a toothbrush can be. Um, I believe that that toothbrush is already in the sale and then the code Josie Sonic will get you an extra discount. We've obviously got our amazing Aurelia discount code. Is it BF Josie 40? If you wanna get some face halos, if you type Josie as the code into look fantastic, I think all the time that will get you 20% off. I'm going to use the Kiehl's Calendula Deep Cleansing Foaming Face Wash as my deep cleanse today. It's a little bit more of a deep cleanse than my usual cleanser. Because I have been out the house all day, I feel like I need a little something extra. I say that was the first supernatural thing, but do you remember that like figure that appeared in the window? Um, when I was talking to you about my greenhouse about six months ago and there was definitely no one in the house. That was weird, but I never feel scared living here. Even though it is seven or eight hundred year old house. Okay, maybe I feel scared some of the times, but not very often. I never get like a bad feeling. Hmm. See, when you add water to this cleanser, it just foams up which I feel gives such a nice, deeper cleanse. Um, I don't know what they're doing yet, but Kiehl's always do something really good for Black Friday. So again, that will be in the blog post. So check out the blog post that I will leave linked at the top of the description box. And if you're feeling very kind, you could forward it on to a friend. Ooh. Okay, I've really started to spook myself out now. Do you ever do this thing where you scare yourself? Like, even when I had my flannel over my face then, I was thinking like, ooh, what if I pull my flannel down and there's like a zombie here in my face? You know, I just, I just think these things and I start scaring myself. And now I need to get um, downstairs <laughs> in the safety of Charlie's company because, yeah, I'm starting to scare myself. <laughs> But I will never be too scared to take off my eye makeup remover. Always have to take off my eye makeup. <laughs> this is my favourite eye makeup remover, by the way. It is the Beauty Pie by Phase Cleanser. If you guys have ever had any supernatural um, experiences, then let me know in the comments down below. I feel like... By the time this video goes live, I won't be so spooked. So I'd love to read your supernatural experiences. I'm gonna do my LED mask on my eyes later, but I'm still applying my skin and me. Um, at the moment, because the weather's been changing, the temperature's been changing, my skin's been a lot more sensitive. So I've actually gone down to using this only three nights a week, which is absolutely fine. Um, it's It was Charlie coming up the stairs, but I thought it was a zombie. <laughs> I thought it was a zombie or a ghost. Oh my gosh. Um, yes, using Skin and Me just three nights a week at the moment while my skin feels a bit sensitive. Um, I will still put on my LED mask over this. And then in 10 minutes time, I will put on an Elizabeth Arden Ceramide Capsule. That is my evening routine. But yes, I'm gonna go and do a little bit of pampering now, darling. So I've got my hot water bottle, should have made my bed nice and warm um so yes thank you for watching darlings hope you have enjoyed today's vlog coming down to the newt with me um there will be vlogs every day oh shit i just saw that reflection i'm really spooked <laughs> um 
yes there will be a vlog every single day this week so do make sure you're subscribed and i will of course be sharing all of my favorite cyber week deals as always as always so yes thank you for watching guys i'll see you in the next one